This segment is sponsored by Michigan Auto Law. Parents of new drivers, this segment is for you. Brandon Hewitt is an attorney with Michigan Auto Law here to discuss auto insurance for teen drivers. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Not too long ago, my kids were beginner drivers. I think I lamented about it to you, the whole insurance thing. So give me a rule of thumb. What, what do we need to know about teenagers and auto insurance? Uh, biggest rule of thumb, just put them on your, put them on your policy. That's the biggest, biggest rule. Uh, insurance companies get really upset whether they're driving or not. Insurance companies want to know who is in the household, who is of legal age to drive, because they need to assess their risk. So leaving a, a teenager off your policy is very risky for you. Even if they're taking driver's ed, they, they need to be insured to get in that, car, that driver's ed car? Absolutely, uh, because they're driving, period. Um, so we've had cases, unfortunately, where uh, a person in driver's ed, a teenager in driver's ed has caused an accident. Uh, so, you know, there's liability insurance on the vehicle. So the driver's ed company, uh, but the driver of that vehicle should absolutely be insured on your policy as well. And these are questions that a good insurance agent should ask you. Mm. Uh, I remember that it was very pricey to insure uh, especially our son, and, and, and it was less for our daughter, which I thought was interesting. Are there special kinds of insurance for young drivers? There's not, unfortunately, but there's a couple of things you could look into. Number one, shop it around. Mm. So it's amazing the different types of premium quotes you're going to get from different companies with the exact same information. Uh, it's just that different companies use different rating factors in how they set their premiums. So don't just trust, you know, that your insurance company that you've been with for 20 years is going to give you the best price when you go to add your teenager. It might not. Um, some companies are a little bit more uh, tolerant of risk, so they might uh, have lower premiums. The other option you can also look into is put your uh, teenager drive your teenage driver on their own policy. Mm. So for example, Citizens or AAA might be the cheapest for you as as a driver, but Progressive or uh, you know Michigan Millers might be cheaper for your teenager. So you guys can have separate policies. Uh, it's just more most important just to shop it around. Full coverage for a teen? Ab absolutely, absolutely. Um, a lot of people think, well, you know, my kid's driving a my old beat up car and. I don't really need full coverage because he's just driving around this old car, but absolutely you want full coverage. The difference in premiums is going to be minimal, especially in terms of when you are faced with an actual crash. And now you're facing the cost of replacing that vehicle or medical costs. Having full coverage just kind of opens up some other options for you. And yes, you're going to pay a little bit more in premiums, but you know, the safety that and the assurance that you're going to know if you do get in a crash, it, it's worth it. So then the teenager uh, goes off to college. Anything change there? Tell your insurance company. So you can still have your teenager listed as a driver in your household, uh, but you might want to let them know that that car now is going to be garaged over in East Lansing or Ann Arbor. And that makes a difference to the insurance company as well, where that car is kept most of the time matters to them because it assesses their risk. They might uh, rate the the risk a little bit higher over in East Lansing because we know they're crazy over there uh, <laughs> than Ann Arbor um, where it's a little bit more peaceful. But uh, yeah, just let your insurance company know. And then um, uh, my, my last question was the failure to tell an insurance company, you would pay a price if something happens, right? You could find yourself in an accident or your teenager in an accident and the insurance company trying to avoid your policy. Mm. At that point, you have no coverage for anything, and you're going to be out of pocket a lot of costs for you and possibly anybody that was injured in that crash. So absolutely, full disclosure, the insurance company is the best policy. Talk to a good independent insurance agent. Talk to us. We'll guide you, uh, but absolutely disclose everything. Yet another rite of passage when that teenager gets behind the wheel, but there are also lots of considerations to be made. Brandon, thank you. Good information. Thank you. All right. And folks, for more information or to contact an attorney, you may contact uh, Michigan Auto Law at 833-411-MICH or go to michiganautolaw.com. Thanks. Thank you.